Hello my chunsters, my name is The Chun, it's time to have some fun with Ship Simulator Extremes. Now, on my first video, I sink, which is also supposed to sound a bit like I stink, uh, I had a comment. Let's read it, shall we? It's from a Mr. Shaw Bertie, and he says, Now, sink a cruise liner. Well, Mr. Shaw Bertie, I shall sink a cruise liner. So here we are, we are on Ship Simulator Extremes. Now, uh, the thing I'm going to try and do here is I'm not going to deliberately sink the ship, because that would be too obvious. All I have to do is sail straight ahead, sink it. That's not going to be very funny. So what I'm going to try and do is actually complete a scenario. So let's go on free roaming. So, oh, well, that's what I did last time. So what we need to do is find a cruise liner. Ha ha! Now that looks ideal. Ah ha! Yes. I'm going to sink the Oceana. <sighs> Lovely bit of liquefied weed. It's coffee. So like I said, I'm not going to deliberately sink this cruise liner. That would be too easy. I'm going to try and sail to France actually try and dock it in Calais. However, based on what happened in the speedboat, I suspect very, very strongly I'm going to fail. Oh, good God, it's huge! Not gonna lie. Right. So I have to, first of all, see, now this is where my problems arise. I have to try and get this cruise liner, that massive old thing, through that gap, and that's just to start the trip to France. And first of all... How do I change views? Ah, oh, crap, I can't change views. I can't remember how. Right, whatever, sail it. What does that do? So I don't really know what I'm doing. Now, I'm not one for conspiracy theories or anything, but I don't think I'm moving, and I think I've got the engines on full power. Something has gone horribly wrong, and I think I've worked out what it is. It says aft depth and bow depth. Well, from what I can gather, one says 2.5 meters depth, and the other one says nothing, which must mean I'm run aground before I've even started. But since you wanted me to sink it, this isn't... Yes, okay, I'm going to exit that, because that's... I think what's happened there is um, the, the, this harbour is too shallow, so I'm going to try this again. Okay, so this is the Orient Star. We're going to sail this instead because it actually says cruise ship, which is closer to what I was asked to sail. Here we go. This is my ship. Look at it. It's awesome. Where's my controls? Shit! I can't actually control the thing. Oh, yes, this is a game mode you can't control anything from. That's annoying. I just want to be able to control the ship from in there. Oh, never mind. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Let's go. I'm moving, but where am I moving to? That's a problem. Am I turning or not? Well, obviously, I can't go straight ahead because that's going to take me to Dover. I don't want to go to Dover. I want to go to France. Don't know why. I hate the French. The French all suck. The French are all gay, basically. I don't want to go to France, but I want to go to France. Am I turning? Yes, I can see it. I'm turning left. I am actually turning left now. This is good. Yes, look, 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 look. I can see my bow wave. Look, I am definitely turning now, and I'm turning at quite some... Sp I'm turning at quite an alarming rate. Okay, so if I go to D, F... Look at this. This is awesome. And I can use my sad to control myself. We are definitely turning. This is good news. I've just had a thought, is this going to take for bloody ages to get to France? What am I thinking doing this in a bloody cruise line? It took something like half an hour in a speedboat. You only saw the abridged version. Imagine how abridged this thing's going to be. This isn't going to be an abridged version. This is going to be like a suspension bridged version of this trip. Because I can guarantee not much is going to happen unless if lying out there in the English Channel is some kind of kraken that wants to sink me. Now there's an idea. No, here's the thing. I wonder if there's... It'd be cool if you could get a Megalodon on this game. Like, just like, come out and randomly attack your ship. That'd be amazing. 
be scary as shit. Just like one moment you're sailing along at a nice steady, how, how much faster we're we going? 12 knots, and then all of a sudden a megalodon just appears. That's That must be rudder control, and maybe this is like engine assistance. I don't know. I mean, I'm really not entirely sure. It says now, if anything, we're heading towards the right, and now all the ship's speeding up, so I, I think that means we're not turning. And what does it say I'm going east? I'm not really going east because north. Oh no, that's north. Okay, so I am going east. Yeah, of course I'm going east. I'm going to France. I thought I was going southeast though. I am going to the southeast. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, people. I'm just. That's the problem with me though, isn't it? Really, I'm just a bit of a fucker, really. I just, you know, I just think I'm going one way and I'm not. Right. Well. Uh. Yes. Poor on the way. We are, we're on our way. Oh yeah. This is going to be an epic voyage. It's going to be intense. It's going to be brutal. It's going to be wearing, but we're going to get there. That's the point. We're so going to get to France. Whether or not we sink when we get there, well, that's, that's, that's as may be. It probably will sink, which is the whole reason I'm doing this scenario, because I think I'm going to sink when I get there, when I try and position it in the bay. Because, to be fair, I know how to get the ship moving, but I don't know how to stop it. And that's kind of my issue. And will I be able to actually line up to go into Calais Harbour? Probably not, if I'm honest. And to be fair, my more immediate concern is more, more to the fact that I'm actually really not going very fast. I mean, in terms of speed, we're really not going very fast at all. So let's go first person view mode. 20 knots. I mean, in miles per hour, what's that? A million? Could be more, really. See, now here's the thing I haven't quite considered, right? The cruise liner is a significantly, significant amount slower than that speedboat. What that means is it's going to take four times as long, on average, roughly, roughly four times as long to get to France. Oh. Oh, shit. Well, I mean, I've been going for 10 minutes. That's how long I've been going in the scenario, and yeah, that's how far I've got in 10 minutes. Not very far at all. And consider the fact I didn't even start in Dover. That makes this even more pathetically. Oh, wait a minute. I thought I saw in a distance. <gasps> that's Calais! I see Calais, and I'm going to miss it. I hope you appreciate this, Shaw Bertie, because this is going to take quite a long time. Uh, I can't really see Dover on the. Well, I can see. I mean, not Dover. I mean Calais. Can I see Calais? See, this is what I mean. I, I'm, I'm a total fucker. I really am. The thing is, though, now that I think about it, you guys probably cannot see the radar because I think I've put my beautiful face. Right. I should probably scout the gains out next time. Next time I do like webcam, live recording, I should really scout the game out and make sure that um, my face isn't blocking anything interesting on the screen. Not that the radar really is that interesting at all, it's just I'm probably going to be referring to it a lot and you're going to be like, what the fuck is he talking about? I can't see anything. And it's going to be like, well, it's because I'm like, yay, no, no, that's a crucifix. Play some angelic music for the crucifix. I don't know. I don't know if I found anything angelic in the uh, in the edit, and it doesn't look like a crucifix anymore. So that'd be a good time to stop the music. Is it really a good idea to have access to the crew quarters like this? Is there any door or anything like obstructing it? Maybe that's a door there. Maybe 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 there's a door there or something. <laughs> I'm not on the point of the ship. So this is actually kind of gay. Yeah! I hope you enjoyed that rendition of Hit Near Far Wherever You Are. I don't know what the song's actually called. What is it called? I don't know. I don't care either. You know what? I've got so far to go. I'm just going to find out. That's it! My heart will go on. That's what it's called. There you go. I hope you enjoyed that rendition of My Heart Will Go On. Wow, doesn't look anything like tinfoil at all. I'm not sure really what that's supposed to be. It just, I mean, maybe it's a bar or something. I, I'm gonna guess it's a bar. I'm gonna guess 
they haven't modelled the inside of that bar. More tinfoil water. I imagine these things here are showers. Oh, look, it's a bandstand. Oh, it's a bandstand, so you can dance whilst you're in the tinfoil. This is awesome. And I feel like I'm really big as I approach this thing now. I mean, there's no doubt that's a bandstand. There's, there's, that's just what that is. So you can... Oh, I'm sailing away, set an open course. Well, that's a pretty... Uh, yeah, cool. Um, so, yeah. Well, I imagine I imagine a ship like this has all sorts of uh, prestigious music artists. I bet Led Zeppelin, Metallica, AFI, they've all performed there. I mean, in fact, I can just imagine AFI performing there right now. I mean, there'd be lots of lots of reverb, of course, with all these windows around, but you catch my drift. Oh, look, elevators! Oh, it's a football court and a climbing wall. Well, at least you know you're not going to get bored if you go sailing with the whatever this is called, the Orient Star. I think that's what it's called. It's called the Orient Star. I'm sure it is. No way into that pit court, of course, because it's all fence all around it. But you know, you get your point. Now the climbing wall on the other hand, I wonder if I can climb up that. Can I climb up it? No. Of course I can't. That would be too much to ask. That would be ridiculous if I could. And another Tim Ford swimming pool. Well, I've seen enough of this. The bridge. That's it. The bridge. That's the word I was looking for. I'm going to return my sort of roving camera point to the bridge. And then we are going to line up for Calais. But look, I'm at this rate, I'm getting closer to France. I mean, that's how big this ship is. If you move upwards and forwards to it, you actually move physically closer to France by quite a big margin. If you stay at the back of the ship, you are significantly further away from France than you are when you're at the front of it. Yes, okay, right. You guys can't see that because my sexy face is covering it up, but um, Calais is now on that map, and I'm going to miss it if I don't turn the ship to the right. At this rate, it's going to take a very long time to get to France. So now that I've done practically everything I can do until we get there, I think it's time for one of those moments with editing magic. We fast forward in time with a quick musical interlude. Right, I hope you enjoyed your time uh, in that musical interlude. As you can see, we are a lot closer to France, Calais. Now, uh, minor drama, minor drama, drama happened whilst you're away. My mouse disconnected because it ran out of batteries. However, I have found a way. Yes, I found a way. I can control my ship from inside the ship. <laughs> yes. Now this is a good thing. And plus I'm not really sure where I'm going to actually anchor at Calais, so that's going to be a thing. I'm going to be trying to negotiate the narrow canal, the narrow canals of Calais in a cruise liner. Ah, uh, I like controlling boats. Boats are cool. Why am I yawning? It's only 9 o'clock. Jesus, talk about stamina. Although in fairness, I did go and do some exercises for about an hour. Yeah, that's probably not something to do with it. Nothing much. Punch the punch bag, press ups, sit ups, jogging on the sport. Nah, that kind of thing. You know, lifting some weights, barbells. I'm not lying. I'm really not. I can even show you said barbells. You know, I can tell you the thing I'm lying. I'm going to show you the barbells. See? You doubting liars. You think I'm lying to you? I was lifting these for ages. They are really heavy, particularly when your arms are tired. See? You thought I was lying, didn't you? But I wasn't. Bro, do you even lift? Yes. Yes, I do. I even benched 70 kilograms once. Didn't end well. On the fifth rep, I did need some assistance because the bar was kind of resting on my ribs and I could feel them slowly breaking. 
my peaks aren't that well developed, I must say. It's more these ones, whatever they are. Are they the triceps? Yeah, triceps. Are they the triceps or biceps? No, because these are biceps. Those are triceps. My triceps are quite strong. I can do press ups pretty easily, but curls? Bi yeah, bicep curls. Mm -hmm. The peaks just aren't there yet. As Scott Steiner says, your peaks can never be too big. I wonder what this is, that little colour wheel. Oh, uh, fishing. Fishing? I can do fishing on this game? Awesome. If I'm not actually heading towards that harbour wall right now, I am 100% screwed. And sure, Bertie gets his wish. I'm not really sure I'm doing my fans a really good service here in trying not to do what they want me to do. Is that really a good thing to be doing? Well, now we've got an interesting situation developing. My af my bow depth is significantly lower to the tune of almost five meters than my aft depth. What the hell's underneath this ocean? Did I just like? Did I just sail over a whale or something? Am I? I must have sailed over a whale or something like that. There must be like a whale um, at the bow, unless that's just because I'm getting closer to land, which <laughs> is probably a more likely explanation, because we don't get that many whales in the English Channel, just quite a lot of jellyfish. You now, people doubt me when I say about the jellyfish, um, if you hear accounts from anybody who swung the English Channel, they tell you all about the jellyfish layer. It's like two meters or three meters down. It's just like jellyfish everywhere. See, I half wonder if, if I take my throttles off, how fast will the thing slow down? Uh, it's not really relevant yet, and plus it's taken me so long to get here, I don't really want... Uh, it's taken me almost... almost an hour to get here. Well, yeah, look. Timer up here. Well, you can't see it because my face is in the way. Timer says 48 minutes. So... I'm gonna try and cut that down into an 11 minute video plus the mo plus the moment from before when I found out I was beached in Dover and then re-setting up the scenario Jesus this is gonna be a long video I mean the thing with cruise lines is it's, it's, it's like with trains really it's like that Voyager thing that I failed to stop at Gatwick you know, you have to be slowing down quite a significant distance before your stopping point, otherwise the thing just won't stop. It's not like a sports car, you know, it's not like a Pagani Zonda, it just you hit the brakes and you just stop. Instantaneously, near enough. Um, I'm headed straight towards the beach! Ah! I don't want to, I don't want to crash into a hot French girl in a bikini! I'd feel quite bad about that for ruining her day on the beach. I'm not that much of a prick. I'm not that much of a fucker. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, I've lost control of my steering wheel. Uh oh, this is a problem. Ah! I just realised you can see the radar down here. Well, I didn't just realise that, I just forgot you could see the radar down there. Ah, oh, crap! Ah, oh, crap! Bow depth is a problem. Bow depth is becoming. Oh! Both depths are becoming a serious issue. Right, let's try and scoot to the left a bit and try and, try and get in as. I'm not going to lie, people, I don't know if my ship actually has enough depth to get into Calais. And I don't really know where I want to go. Do I want to head towards this Bassin Henry Revise thing over there? But it's too wide. I'd probably... Uh, it, sounds too, it seems too easy. But I'm going to head that way anyway. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. more, more turning. How do I turn more? No, that's going the other way. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, straight for the wall. Oh no. Ah well. Sure, Bertie's gonna get what he wants. Sure, Bertie's definitely gonna get what he wants. Right, turn, 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 turn. Right, uh, turn harder. Okay, so I've missed that wall. Oh no. Oh, I forgot about the back of the ship. I forgot about the back of the ship. Oh, I forgot about the front of the ship for a moment there. Oh crap. Oh Jesus. Well. Um, okay, right, I need the back of the ship not to really hit that, that's my problem. Maybe, um, maybe straighten up a bit now. Yeah, there we go. That's it. There we go. We're fine. We're fine. We missed that. We missed it. 
We're heading for that! Uh oh! Oh no! No 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 no! Um. Oh, where's it? Where is it? Where is it? I've missed it. Yeah, I missed it. I'm successful in my plan. Yes, I've missed it. Good. Power off. Difference. There you go. No power. So, will the ship stop in time? Probably not. Definitely not. Really no. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not even going to... It's not. Oh, full power backwards. I've done everything in my power now. It's now up to the fate of the gods. Is this thing going to sink or not? It's going to sink, isn't it? If I hit that at that speed, it's, we're definitely sink. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. I'm sorry, everybody on board. Which of which there's nobody, so I'm not that sorry to anybody. Oh, oh, this is going to be big. Oh, ah, oh, there it is. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, shit. Does anything respond? Nothing's responding. Well, Shaw Percy, you have got what you wanted. The Orient Star, the mighty ship on which Led Zeppelin, Metallica and AFI have played, is now going down. Oh, it's sinking. Oh, this is a tragedy. This is a tragedy. Oh no. Oh no. See how do you how do you do what somebody wants you to do, i.e. sink a ship uh, but do it in a way which is amusing without deliberately doing it because I deliberately I, Well I didn't deliberately do it, I did full hit full reverses and I got kind of preoccupied with not hitting a wall. Uh get away from the whole starboard, that's where it's going down first, that's where the hole is. Get back to the band area. Get high up! That coat, that coat lays right there. Jump. You might still make it to the shore if you swim for your lives. I can't do an onslaught impression. Maybe I could do that as a liquid snake. If you swim for your lives, you may still make it to shore. Now oh, shit as well. Maybe if I did it as a snake. Marines, if you swim for your lives, you may still make it to shore. Nah, that was crap as well. If I set it as Bane, maybe I can do it. If you swim for your lives, you may still make it to shore. <sighs> Kill them all. Sorry. Now, if you swim for your lives, you may still make it to shore. Ah, I don't know, whichever one of those you prefer. I didn't try Batman, did I? If you swim for your lives, you may still make it to shore. I'm just going to go and listen to the music. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, there we go. Well, uh, awkward mode. It's taking quite a long time to sink, if I'm honest. This isn't exactly epic. This is just sort of slowly sinking. So it took me an hour to get here. It's probably going to take an hour to sink. Not that worried right now. If I was a passenger, I could I I just jump onto the harbour wall and be like, "Well, <laughs> thanks, buddy. Sorry about your ship. Sorry about your boat, but uh, I'm alive, so I don't care." This isn't really very epic. I mean, Led Zeppelin could complete a whole set list before this thing sinks. Let's be honest. I bet they're doing it right now. Oh yeah, I forgot we've got AFI playing today. And they're still playing that one song over and over and over again. It's a good thing it's with Zeria Kantan, because I like that song. Well, they're still playing. All the passengers who have all jumped ashore are now very happy. But they shall keep on playing to keep us all calm as we slowly sink in a harbour right next to France. But you never know, there could be an electric eel in the harbour, so as soon as you try and swim, you're all dead. Yeah, I'm going to go with that scenario, so you have to stay on the ship. Otherwise, you're all going to get electrocuted by an electric eel. Sorry, but that's just the way it is. don't really know what to do now, actually. I'm just watching my ship sink. Well, I've got four meters now of depth to sink into. And if I'm honest, if I'm being brutally honest with you, the ship 
is more than four meters high. We're going to sink to like this point, and then that'll be it. So we could just sort of stay on the upper heart, upper decks, and be fine. Now I hope you're happy, Sean Bertie, because <laughs> although I suspect this probably isn't how you imagined this thing going, I expect I imagine you thought this would be a bit more epic than this. So did I, if I'm honest. What the hell was that? Oh my god! Oh my god! What's going on? Holy crap! The bat just leapt 28 meters off the ground! Whoa! Okay, it suddenly got interesting. What in the name of God is going on? Holy shit! I think that's it. The bow depth is now reading as nothing. I thought it'd be a bit more epic than that. I'm not gonna lie. That hasn't really sunk though, has it, really? If I'm honest. That's... Professor Snape, give me a verdict on that. How disappointing. But uh, why do I always, why do you always have to get stopped behind the one train that has to like, stop everywhere? It's like, ah, oh, Jesus Christ. It's like traffic, even on the railway network. It's like so annoying. It's not there. Oh god. Serpentine! Am I playing the war host pros? Um... That's an interesting question. I...